The leading the charge electric vehicle road trip has been silently traveling the country, showing off the future of motoring to the public. And at the Auckland event this week, sponsored by Ecotricity, New Zealand's only completely renewable electricity provider, I asked about the cars involved, starting with how far they can go per charge. 100D I find real world um, is uh, 450 k's, I say, on the open road. Um, I managed to get a second hand uh, one for 140, which because I've got four daughters, we needed seven seats. I had to spend that, or I had to buy two Model 3s for, who knows, maybe 70,000 each. What about the price of an Auckland car park? Yeah, that's exactly right. right. Yes, okay. that's right. Yes, and you know, we say at this point that the acceleration in all electric vehicles is uh, pretty wicked. What yeah. is pretty wicked? Uh, pretty wicked is, you know, um, sort of far out. There we are. So that's <laughs> to 50 <laughs> like that. Um, Sold. <laughs> Absolutely. What about the running costs of one of these? How much does it cost per week? For me, virtually nothing because uh, I have solar panels at home and so we just um, trickle charge um, okay. from. Um, <laughs> sorry, carry on. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> it's difficult um, to hold an interview. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I just trickle charge uh, six amps in the garage and use the, you know, the top off rather than sell it back to. Um, are they good? If, is there any gas-powered car that could lure you away from this? No, I'll never, ever. I've owned electric vehicles for five years, um, and I will never, ever go back to a gas-powered car. I'm just not. Um, I find them sluggish to drive. I find them unresponsive. Um, to be perfectly honest, if I'm going to get car sick, it's in one of those. Once you've once you've sat in and actually driven an electric vehicle, it's I don't know. Has anyone? Have you ever heard of anyone who said, "Oh, look, I, I didn't like my electric vehicle. I've gone back to petrol." No, Tell me. Not yet. Anyone? I'm still Finally. waiting. So I'm trying to stay impartial in this interview, but electric it's, cars are better. That's the problem. <laughs> it, it is. I'm. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin. I'm not going to help you there. <laughs> not going to change your mind. They they just are better, and um, particularly particularly in New Zealand. I mean, here we are buying spending billions of dollars importing our vehicle fuel and that's that's what we do we import our vehicle fuel um, billions of dollars doing that and much as I love Saudi Arabia 11 billion dollars or so would be much better spent in New Zealand using our own energy we make so much of it we could make more if there was demand my goal is to convince other people that this is absolutely a thing that they should do if they want to change their lives um, if they want to love driving again. I, I just want people to experience the joy that I do. Uh, what's the car? What are we in? You're in a Jaguar I-Pace, um, SE model. And what uh, what sort of range and, and cost are we looking at for one of these? Um, so because of the, um, obviously we went back to Jaguar New Zealand, we'll book a price. <laughs> She's definitely enjoying the car. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're looking at this as a 144 900. And it can go up to 164 900 for HSE model, which is the highest spec. And what sort of a battery capacity size do we have? So the WLTP um, is rating on 480 to 470, but in New Zealand um, we're looking around 380 to 420. This is kilometres per charge? Yeah. How nervous are you having strangers driving this car all day? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not new, it's more from my neck. I, I do get a lot of whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> but are you getting customers that are traditionally gas buying customers or people that are stepping up gas, from a lease? Gas buying or? customers as well. Yeah, we've got a lot of um, V8 um, customers that's transitioning into a uh, full electric. Mm. You've got the same amount of torque and you've got instant start. The only thing they're probably missing is the sound, but you've got a nice wine sound with the um, fake noise in there. There is dynamic. a fake noise in yes. here, and I hate that I like it. Yeah, <laughs> how, I, how I put it, it's, um, I'm not sure if you guys watch Formula E, but it's yeah. that sort of feel to it, and yeah. it's, 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 it's exciting. I wouldn't dare make you badmouth your competition, but do you have people who uh, have bought one of these in place of a Tesla? Yeah, oh yes, in terms of that, it's, it's really different. Why, I'm, why I'm would not here they? To, I'm, I'm not here to badmouth Tesla no, or no, anything. No. It's just a different build, different okay. build. Um, we're, we're definitely in the car industry and we know how to build cars in terms of that. So obviously the handling skills, the, the driving, the dynamic feel of it, it, it feels like a Jaguar, it feels like a car. While we, when you're hopping into Tesla, it just feels like you're driving a technology or a computer. So Mark, this is what, a Hyundai? Kona. It's got a 64 kilowatt hour battery. So normally that means the range is up around 450, 500Ks. Real world driving. So, what made you buy an electric car? Several reasons, but like most people, 
but we put them into order. But what's the most important for me? It was cost saving rather than environment. Right. Environment's still up there, but cost savings is why I bought it. So I do about lots of Ks, 60,000 Ks a year. For you, this car's, how long will it take for it to pay itself off at 80 grand? Three or four years. Three or four years? I use about 15 to 20 grand worth of gas previously, but I was driving a WRX. So I've gone from a WRX to this. But the WRX has that has the soul. Do you think that does this have a soul? No pun intended to the Kia soul. <laughs> <laughs> this has just got a lot more character. It's just it's a better car. And what about the Oh crikey. Okay, alright. It's got so, some so go. It moves. <laughs> How does that compare to the WRX? Oh well this is only two-wheel drive. Okay, I can so, feel it. It's, it's, it's trying so, hard to grip when we're getting out there. Yeah, yeah. So the traction on. Obviously, if we had the traction off, um, I was away for three weeks of December. <laughs> I'm not allowed to put that in the video. I don't know. Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't speed. No, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell I, burning rubber, but there's I, no engine screaming. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what do you miss about a gas car? You're obviously sold on electric. You're sold on this model. There must be something that you're missing from a gas car. Everyone pauses when I ask them those sort of questions. Yeah, because they're trying to think, what do yeah. I miss? Because I've never thought about it. I don't think I miss anything. I've still got gas cars. But you're, yeah, you're, you're a petrol head at heart. Yeah, I've got an RX3 Mazda Rotary. I've got a, a, a off-roading FJ40 with a uh, V8 in it. Yeah, so I can set, obviously, cruise control to whatever speed and it will follow the car in front and it will steer for me. Really? Um, as long as there's lines on the road, it will follow the it will follow the road. So there's gotta be white lines to do that. So I'm set at 120, so it's speeding up. But now it's seen the car in front, it's gonna slow down. And I'm not gonna brake, but we're gonna stop, I hope. So we're coming up to another car. Oh God, you're right. And we're gonna slow down. That's insane. And we're gonna stop. It's... So maybe we should film that. That was pretty cool. Yeah. This is Jeff, and we are in a Smart ED, is that right? Yeah, this is a Generation 4 EV. It's probably the only one in the country that's two years old now. How much did this car cost? Landed in New Zealand, 34500 Can we go for a drive? We can go for a drive. How much does it cost to operate a car like this? Um, nothing. <laughs> uh, its first its first service is due at 20,000 Ks. Okay. Um, and there's nothing to spend on it up till then, apart from your normal registration and insurance, um, nothing else. Naught to 100 is something like about 10 seconds. Um, Naught to 60 is about four, so it's very quick down low, like all the electric cars. It's got a uh, 17.5 kilowatt battery, and it has a uh, 57 kilowatt motor. I had a little petrol smart car given to me. It had a sick motor that I got fixed and um, I quite enjoyed that um, and then I thought oh, I quite like to have an electric car so and I see one or two of these um, electric smart cars coming in I thought I'll stick with a smart car so um, so I managed to get hold of one of those and that and ever since then I've been um, very happy with electric. I like, I like their fact that they're quiet um, they're comfortable, they're cheap to run, uh, and they're great for parking around town and shopping around town, which is all we use it for. Certainly at my age, I just like the comfort, it's easy to drive, um, no gears, nothing to worry about, it's all automatic, um, and uh, it's just a fun car to drive. If someone gave you an, an, a blank check to buy a beautiful new gas-powered car, is there any that could tempt you? No, no. I've, if somebody gave me the money to do that and spend it on another electric one, I'd probably go and buy one of those nice Jaguars that I see there or something uh -huh. like that. They're so quiet and smooth and, and you know, normally when you put your foot down you expect to hear the engine roaring and all the rest of it. It's, it has none of that. This year's Leading the Charge event was a great success with the vehicles continuing northwards to complete their journey in Cape Rianga. And with the number of electric cars on New Zealand's roads growing, it'll be interesting to see how big the Leading the Charge event, sponsored by Ecotricity, turns out to be next year.